All right, Pisces, my two fish. Here we go. Number 12. Reading number 12 in my fly through. Always a joyous occasion. Uh, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, or whoever is here. This is for July 2023. Uh, be sure you've read my blog right up on July at sltblog.com. And be sure that you've watched the overview reading. And be sure you've been paying attention to my weekly readings when I get to your sign, because I've got somebody holding a lot of love for you. I think they're about to burst. Uh, that said, it's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, you found Steve Love Terrell, you're here for a reason. This reading is timeless. I'm not a time lord, so whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. This could happen for you in August. I don't know. But, but July... The energy that's around is very conducive to a lot of clarity about the ways we deceive ourselves and things along those lines. Somebody's been deceiving themselves that you don't matter, and you do a lot. The most love I can pull from the deck, the Queen of Cups, crossed by nine swords. Nines of the end in tarot, tens of the end and dead end that lead to a new beginning. But this is coming to the end of worrying about this. Maybe you too. You're coming to the end of worrying about this. Your energy is attached to all this, but I'm reading the incoming energy, and they're coming to an end to worrying about all this, all right? Why am I so worried about loving somebody? It's kind of the clarity that's coming to them, because there's your energy. It's the Empress, and it's their Empress energy coming up inside them, too. They're balancing out a lot, and I get that out of the King of Pentacles. That's a very stable, balanced energy. It's someone who gets it. Someone who's like, oh, shit, I really want to bang that tree, right? It's okay to bang a tree, isn't it? Okay, you could do that's that's not weird. Banging a tree, that's not weird, right? Somebody's been worried about this. I make a joke there, but the truth is, it's like you're a damn tree, and they've been worried about humping the tree. I mean, the way the, the way this is, these feelings are are make sense to this person, whoever this energy is under this. And the good news is, it's Queen of Cups, not King. The Queen of Cups gives the full cup, right? So let's find out. Let's see what's coming at you. Let's do it. I've been picking up on this energy for a while now. All right, let's go. This first card out's before the cut. It's why the fuck are we here? All right. All right, let's see where we go. Just for the record, it is kind of weird to bang a tree. But all that being said, let's take a look at what comes before the cut, which is crossed by my overall energy after the final shuffle, by the way. And I don't always point that out, but obviously today I should. And I can kind of see why. Before the cut, why we're here? Nine cups. Yeah, it's okay to bang a tree. I could bang a tree. Uh, it's like that. It's somebody, again, you're somebody, somebody understands these feelings. I think they do something about it. Oh, we set the intention. The two of wands is fueling that. What comes after the cut? What comes after the cut? The queen of wands extremely attracted to that tree, to that empress. Also, they become more attracted to you. You look better and better and better as their own empress energy comes up. This is just an energy of attraction. It's somebody who has been fakey McFakerman, been trying to hide it. But now the snake has to bite. The rattle's not working. Kind of an energy type of thing. Okay, let's see where we go. Let's get a reading here. Uh, give me the soulmate cycle. I'm putting this out there. I already did, but the words are for you. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of two fish, Pisces, for July 2023 universe. Let's go. Our overall energy, which is crossing the nine of cups, the environmental energy around the card before the cut, is what? Strength. Yeah. Heart chakra open, lion holding one of the roses from the two of cups in this deck. It's strength. It's somebody here who just, it's just a, I'm going for it. And right there, it's 10. There's a 10 wands. There's a dam about to break. You're just, there's a focus. And I've seen this in a few of the signs as I've flown through the Zodiac here for July. Um, there's a focus on, on, on you, okay? There is. There's some kind of, I could say you're heavy on their mind kind of a thing. There's a focus here. Strong focus, a lot of focus. Okay, let's go. Our reading's on the flip. Right here's the energy around your connection. This is how they're behaving in the 3D. This is their soul. This is the hidden energy. Message from the universe read with the energy of your connection. This is the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. Nobody can. I will clarify everything and throw some universe cards at the end. Let's go. Energy around your connection. Temperance. Yeah. Yeah. They get it. It's a balanced energy. They understand how they feel. 
I, I, and action. Leo energy, passionate forward movement. And you're always tied to the Leo angle of this cycle. So again, a very poignant card for you in your reading. Um, it just means passionate forward movement. Oh, my mic is falling. Hold on. Help, I'm falling. Hold on, let me fix my mic. Let's see here. Sorry about that. You're the first sign I've had mic trouble with. There we go. Okay. So they get it. How are they behaving in the 3D? There's the King of Cups. There it is. Balanced within their emotions. Balanced within the connection. A, a, a balanced energy here. A lot of heart chakra open. That tells me the soul energy is getting to the brain. Very controlled. I get it. I get it. In this context, this King of Cups isn't someone who's afraid to give the full cup. It's someone who gets it. They're behaving in the 3D. Very emotional, but from a very balanced thing. Okay. Pisces means something. Okay. So their soul energy. Book ending temperance. The Queen of Wands came back. Oh, how about that? Um, it's an energy of somebody who fought it for so long that it's hard not to. It's hard to, it's hard to believe that this connection is that powerful for this person. It's the easiest way I can phrase it. I could go off on it for a while, but I don't want to confuse you. It's the easiest way I can phrase it. It's been, it's, they've been denying it for so long, how could it possibly be this strong? I told Pisces I wasn't interested. I have to stay where I'm at. Or I, you know, I ran or whatever. How is it this strong? It's someone who just, it's been so long that they can't believe how attracted they are. This energy flows from here to here, but it does make sense. It, it, when it gets to the 3D, it balances out. It's like they say, well, I guess it is. You know, what's, what's here? Uh, hidden energy, message from the universe. There's the devil. I thought the devil might fall there. I felt the devil here. There's a devil right there. Um, yeah, yeah. The angel cancels out the devil energy. Uh, this is mostly just here to talk about the focus that's on you. That ten of wands I said, heavy on your, you're heavy on their mind. It's it's a it's a it's a focus. It's a determination. It's a 500 pound cat with a lion in its mouth. Okay, um, it it can be negative, and this it, this cancels out all their hangups. But it does leave an energy. I had this for another sign. A little bit of they put you on a pedestal. A little bit. So in all of this is sort of a nervous energy. What's, what's uh, the potential final outcome? Red with the King of Cups. Communication, judgment, and almost assured communication. As close as a guarantee as I can give you because I can't predict free will. Um, this is very strong. This is But again, I said nervous, right? Multiple birds in the air, which is what I'm drawn to on this card. This is communication, but it's nervous. We see that a lot with the Nine of Swords in the Lightseer deck with the birds above her head, right? Nervous communication, but it is as close to a guarantee as I can give you when coupled with the strength card and everything else. Let's talk to the witches. Randomly at the bottom is ten swords. Some facet of this is coming to an end. And a new phase begins. Let's go. Temperance, why is it here? Let's talk about the angel. Alright, let's go. Oh, wow. I like this. I actually like this energy. It's alright. What's going on here? Why is temperance here? Yep. Yep. Uh, death. That guarantees that this cancels out anything that was, anything that made them run. It varies for all of them. It's insecurity, abandonment issues, afraid to be vulnerable. All of that is just, they're not even thinking about it. It's just gone. All right. This, this right here represents transformation. It represents the connection, somebody understanding it, and the way things were are not the way things are going to be. Okay? Within the connection. What's on top? Seven Pentacles. Um, again, it's a contemplative energy in this particular context. It's contemplative. I get it. He looks like he gets it, don't they? Okay. All right. The energy, the, also divine timing, the energy is right. This energy makes it right for the uh, connection to come together. That's why we got God's source, the universe itself, with judgment right here. What's, why is the Seven Pentacles here? Why? Knight of Pentacles. Again, a very calm energy. So, it, we're right on the edge of something about to happen. In rattlesnake speak, the rattle has stopped and the snake is rearing back, ready to strike. Okay? Alright. Let's talk about King of Cups. How they're behaving in the 3D. 
pulled up their big boy, big girl pants. Strength tells me that, but so does that in, the, in context. And they're dealing with their feelings. They're admitting they have feelings. That's the first step. That's good. They're admitting that you matter, but they haven't admitted it for a long time. Said, no, I made the right decision telling them we couldn't be together or whatever they did. Ran, whatever. No. 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 That was devil energy. That was the devil on their shoulder. Fear of being vulnerable. It could be any number of things. Why is the King of Cups here? Yep. Exactly what I said. Ace of Swords. Sword of Truth. Archangel Michael's Sword of Truth. Yep. They get it. And they're admitting to themselves that they have feelings here. What's on top? Knight of Swords. Got something they want to say. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Nine of Cups. Yep. They're admitting you make them happy. They're admitting that you're their Nine of Cups. They want to tell you that. Their truth, truth is all around this. It's all truth. So they then take this information, this sword, mount a horse, and come in and talk to you. This is as close to a guarantee as communication from something you thought was long dead. I get that from the death card and this. This is a resurrection energy, right? Something's dead. It's resurrected. Yeah, I believe it. Uh, why is the Queen of Cups here? Oh, Queen of Cups. Wow. It does. It's a lot of love. Freudian slip, but it's a lot of love. It's a lot of attraction. This is someone who's been pretending you don't matter for a long time, and now you do. It's a Queen of Wands. Not a queen of, that feels like a queen of cups. Why is the queen of wands here? Why? Wow. I love my Freudian slips. They, they're telling of the energy. Six of pentacles. Yeah. The, snake, the snake's about to strike. They, there's a feeling inside. They, these go from here to here. The energy flows here to here. That truth comes in and they just do something about it. Somebody wants to give to this. All right. They're not sure how much, though. What's, what's on top? Judgment. 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 That ties. Everything ties to the soul. Everything. The final outcome ties to the soul. Everything. The angel ties to the soul because it bookends by default. Your soul connection right there. Um, yeah. Um, it's someone who... How do I phrase this? It's like somebody told them you got karmic debt and you have to pay it. And they go, okay. Okay? That's not literally what happened. But you catch my drift, right? It is someone here who, it, it, again, Phoenix Rising type energy. Why is judgment here? Seven of Cups. Again, they are trying to figure out how much to give. They want the second chance. Not sure how to get it. Not sure what to say. Doesn't, it's not enough to stop them. This Knight of Swords, very determined energy around it. Let's pull on the Devil. Which is canceled out primarily by the Angel. Most of the Devil energy that's here is, a, is an obsession type energy. It, it's, a, it's a focus on this connection. They're not thinking about anything else. If they're still married to somebody, they're not even thinking about that person. All right? It's a very carnal energy that's here. Right? We talked earlier. I don't joke about anything that's not in the energy. We joked earlier about banging a tree. It's, it's, very, it's a very carnal energy here. All right? Why is the devil here? Why? Five of Cups. The energy of July is showing them how they've let themselves down. How they're the cause of their own misery. Okay? Phrased very simply. They're really feeling it. The environmental energy around them. Really feeling it. How they were listening to the wrong shoulder. Angel on one shoulder, devil on the other. They listened to the devil. And now they want to fix it fast. Want that second chance. Even in the soul. As far down as the soul. Want that second chance. Not quite sure what to say or how to get it. But what's on top? Page of Swords. Yeah. Um, as they're being shown how they let themselves down, they feel stupid. They, they've disappointed. How they disappointed themselves is what they're being shown by the universe, by the energies around us here in July. Why is the Page of Swords here? Strength. Strength. It's the overall energy. It came out here. It's red with the uh, Knight of Pentacles. They're about to go in the water here. All right. They have, under this energy, 
divine timing. The energy is right for something to happen. Under this energy, they have the strength, because their heart chakra is open, to go in the water. It's almost a guarantee here, because this is a very reliable energy, the Knight of Pentacles. Slow, but reliable. Um, they pull themselves. I said earlier, they pull up their big boy, big girl pants emotionally. Yeah, they do. That's, that's what this is saying. They might be disappointed that they've let themselves down, right? That they passed on something they shouldn't have. Told you they weren't interested when they were. They might be feeling stupid. But it doesn't stop them. They move forward from that. They pull up their big boy, big girl pants. And get the fuck in the water. Same, it says the same thing all the way across the board here. So, And that's a repeating message. That's why this is as close to a guarantee as I can give you. As somebody shows up. Although they are a bit anxious about the communication. And we see that anxiousness here. Because this judgment is tied with this judgment. It ties us back over here. Why is this here? The seven cups. The seven cups backs up the multiple birds in the air. Not quite sure what to say, what to do. But no, they want to do something. Because you're their nine cups. And they do understand these feelings. And with the ace of swords crossing, they're admitting them to themselves. And I think they're going to admit them to you. Uh, or at least, you know. It tell you, give you an explanation of why they did what they did. I don't know. Let's see. Why is judgment here? What's the final final on this? Crossing judgment is the two of wands. Yeah. It's as close to a guarantee as I can give you. Only looking one way, not looking at this other wand. I said earlier, rewind, I did. If they're still married or something like that or in a relationship, they're not even thinking about it. It's, it's there, but they're not thinking about it. The energy is like dormant, the way I feel it. Just focused on the forward. Look, look straight ahead. A lot of determination in these strength cards. That disappointment sets them in motion. The energy is right. These two are read together. The energy is right. That divine timing energy. For this to not stop them this time. With strength coming out after it. That makes sense. They got power over the devil. We know the devil got canceled out any, anyway. Because of the angel. Angel energy cancels devil energy out. It's far more powerful. Far more potent. Far more. Like I said, if you were to meet in person an angel and a devil, you, most people get them mixed up because the angel is the badass. The angel is a badass. I mean, big time. Almost fear in people because there's, it's because of the truth energy, really. Fear in people. The devil, very complimentary, very nice, very N Ned Flanders, oakley doakley, kind of a thing like that. The con man who wants to get your trust really quick. Doesn't want you to be afraid. Don't be afraid of me. I'm fine. I'm good. Angel's a badass. And people get them mixed up all the time. They, they meet someone who tells them the truth and, you know, says, well, why would you say that to me? I, I you know, fah, fuck you. Triggers them and all that stuff. That's the angel. The devil will never trigger you. The devil will make you run from things that, that are good for you, that are better for you. Right? Always. Devil energy is like that. It's like junk food. It's empty calories. I'm shuffling the deck again. I don't know why. I just did it naturally. That said, remember that two of wands. Because whatever's on top here is what I'm getting when I shuffle. I just flow with the energy. I walk my talk. Right? I just flow with it. That's what you should do. I didn't go, oh God, I shuffled. Oh no, I wasn't supposed to do that. Yeah, I was. I did it without even thinking. It just, I just went straight into a shuffle. And why? I suppose we find out in a moment. So we have a two of wands crossing the judgment. What else? An ace of swords, which is that ace of swords right there. And these are red with these. Yeah, it's the truth. It's the truth. And that, that's the aspect of angel energy that, that scares people. They don't like the truth. Because it's human nature. Most people spend their whole lives lying to themselves. And when somebody can see through it or tells you the truth, you react violently. No, that's not true. No, because they don't want to admit they're wrong. This is an energy of somebody admitting they're wrong with that King of Cups there. Balanced energy and then doing something about it. And the message from the universe said the same thing. What's on top? Hot Priestess. From the soul. From the soul. I said, judgment's here, judgment's here. It's all about soul here. It's all from the soul. It's all from the soul. They're following their intuition. This Knight of Swords, which this is read with, is coming in almost on autopilot. Okay? They're anxious about what to say, though. Why is the High Priestess here? Five of Pentacles. 
they're afraid they're anxious about what they're going to say because they're afraid you're going to say no they're afraid that this dead nothing's going to happen they're still going to end up out in the cold but at the very least this energy wants to convey a message that you're the nine of cups you may get it as direct message from them you may get it in dreams you may hear about it from another person they may use a third party it's possible but they're very afraid that they're going to end up out in the cold but the logic that's in play here is I'm already in the cold anyway but doesn't matter they act, that's what I mean by the king of cups understanding emotions when you understand emotions when they're very balanced you make good logical decisions about emotions which sounds counterintuitive but it actually happens their understanding I feel this logic here well I'm in the cold anyway I'm going in the worst that can happen is I stay in the cold the best that can happen is I get my nine cups right that's that that's where all this strength bravery is right there's a lot of that here mm. let's pull three cards from the bottom and see what else the universe wants to tell you and again with the judgment energies and the death energy crossing the energy of the connection for some of you you don't think there's a snowball's chance in hell you think this is long over they said that a long time ago Steve they said we couldn't be together yeah well shit happens Energies are cyclical. They come around and around. And right now, here in July, if there's one thing I've learned from the monthly overview and the, and the fly-through, especially from Cancer's reading, because Cancer is the hot spot of this connection cycle, the connections in this cycle are as strong right now as they were in the very beginning, if not stronger. They've somehow gotten a tune-up and restarted, had the engine rebuilt, you know. Uh, there's some very strong energy here okay what else you want to tell Pisces give me three cards and a crossing card from the bottom let's go let's go yeah four of wands new start chariot Hierophant, and the world the most powerful card I can pull do you even need and, and look the strength card wants to kind of bleed in here do you even need me to say how powerful this is the most powerful card I could pull crossing the chariot the energy of this connection cycle. I just got done talking about Cancerian's energy a reading a moment ago. This Cancer energy, right? That tells me that your connection is also as strong as it was in the beginning for this person. So it doesn't matter how much time has passed. With the Four of Wands and the Hierophant, okay? Somebody is coming in with determination under new energy to start again. To, to They almost want to reset the clock and just... Uh, a do-over a, a total do-over why because there's a profound understanding of the spiritual nature of this connection of what it means it feels to them under this energy under the energy of July it's why they feel small this connection will feel like magic to them okay I'll phrase it that way I'll get all hocus-pocus with you all right this is incredible this backs up the whole reading but takes it a step further all right this is for there is four of wands potential here this can lead to ten pentacles however conversation needs to happen I've been drawn to this a lot the blue the throat chakra in the middle it starts out light and goes dark okay the conversation because they're nervous may start out very light here make sure you the water sign Pisces right make sure it goes deeper if you can get it to go deeper right you can activate this energy of the connection and you got a shot at a solid new beginning with this person even if they're still married to somebody that energy is dormant while they're focused on you here in the month of July okay mm. that's your reading and yes buying energy might pick back up too it's possible it's a minor energy around this page of swords very minor but it might but I think they just show up. This chariot. There's a lot of determination here. There's determination here and here. A lot of it. All right. And a lot of karma in play with two judgment cards. Uh, angel energy is in play, which can always make. When you listen to the angel, it makes sense. Things make sense. When you listen to the devil, they they don't make sense, but the devil twists it in a way that they do, like junk food right it doesn't make sense to eat junk food they're empty calories but somehow the devil on your shoulder convinces you yeah but it's it's 400 calories so at least you'll have some energy in you right not really they're empty calories they're gonna burn they're gonna burn off like that it's all sugar it's not good for you 
you know. But you don't listen to that, you know, kind of a thing. The angel has a way of, that's where that logic comes in of, well, I'm in, I'm in winter anyway. I'm out in the cold. The, their logic behind approach, their approach is, well, I'm already in the, in the cold. The worst that can happen is I have to stay there, but at least I speak my peace. Right? There it is. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Good luck, Pisces.